Hi, my name is Ganesh Shankar, uh, CEO and co-founder of RPIO Inc. Uh, we are a young startup based out of Beaver. Uh, um, thanks again for uh, New Tech PDX and Vakasa for organizing the great event. Um, again, um, it's a great opportunity for uh, um, a startup like us to promote our product as well as get connected to the community. So, I know it's about eight minutes each of, each of us have. Uh, I don't want to waste any of the time. Um, so we are an enterprise application uh, helping companies who respond to our fees. Uh, you know, basically we uh, streamline the RFP process. Uh, just to guess, uh, uh, how many of you respond or issue RFP, work on RFPs? Can you raise your hands? Wow, that's a great amount of crowd here. So it, that's, that's what we do. You know, basically, I was a product manager before, and I used to respond a lot of RFPs. So we help companies who respond exclusively for respond, respondents. So last 90 days, if you look at uh, uh, our application, we, we have hosted our customers. They have used our application to respond close to about 68 RFPs. And we were able to save them close to 50 to, or 30 to 40 percent of time they spend on preparing a proposal to submit to their customers. So just a quick background about us, who we are. So we are, uh, like I said, we are a young startup based out of Beaver. We launched in 2016. Um, so we have office here in the States and as well as back in, in India. So we have a development center over there. Uh, we are uh, fortunate enough to have pretty awesome employees. Uh, we have about 15 uh, as of today. We are growing uh, and we are looking for more. Uh, so we serve to mid to large enterprises who respond to RFPs. So what do we do? So we kind of eliminate uh, the lot of redundancy work that goes into preparing an RFP. We have an automation engine which helps companies to, you know, uh, prepare RFPs in a, in a more efficient way. So we empower collaboration. We it is more of a look. We look RFP as a more of a project management, just not a quote quote submission. So we look that way. Sorry. Uh, so we also centralize the knowledge library and as well as we eliminate the need for somebody was talking today how how you know chaotic it was to respond to RFP and having to deal with multiple emails, follow up, manual follow up. That's that's pretty much that what we are trying to eliminate here. So we are uh, uh, application which also integrate with multiple tools like we integrate with Salesforce. We are currently working on Microsoft Dynamics. We integrate with Slack. We integrate with Google Drive. All these uh, uh, you know, document management system we integrate with. I want to quickly uh, also. So one of the different use cases. You know the name sounds RFPIO, but we have seen our customers use our application for different use cases. One of its use cases you know, responding to security questionnaires, responding to, you know, statement of work, you know, preparing proposals, just straight up proposal, they use our application. Just to get into the demo real quick. So this is me, Zach Smith, my proposal manager who responds to a proposal. These are all the tasks that I'm, I am currently supposed to do, but that's not my main area. So I want to click on the RFP projects that I'm currently working on. These are the different RFPs that I am <coughs> currently working on. It gives me a quick snapshot of when is it due. The red over there, the due date indicates I'm past the due. The green indicates it's upcoming, so I have the dates to complete it. It's not only me, I'm a proposal manager, basically I'm a project manager. I can track what's going on in each of these uh, RFPs. So if I click on an RFP, it will give me a clear idea of how many sections are there, how many people are working on it, you know, when is it due, when, when, when is there any clarification I have to complete it. So this, this little chart over here is the I would say the biggest benefit I've seen in the, in the, in the application because when I refuse to respond, the biggest challenge is my sales team never know what, what, how many questions I've completed so far. Now this little chart will give you, okay, Zach Smith has been assigned about 26 questions in the RFP which has about 150 questions. He has been given 26 questions. I will also be able to tell Zach has completed 22, 4 is still yet to be completed. I can nudge him if I want to. I can get into the sections, I can assign reviewers, I can have multiple authors working on sections. So these these are the sections uh, that I'm currently working on. So the, it starts with cover letter. I can also drag and drop if I want to propose or do a proposal. Imagine like building a block. Okay, so that's what I, I picture. So you can you can design your your normal proposal that how you submit to the customers. You can design that in a way, and you can also assign to people to, to work on that. So you can collaborate with your your team members to work on it.
not only that, we also help uh, some of the unique features of us is we, uh, let's say, assume you got an RFP from your customer in a Word or Excel format. So we, uh, we can easily import it. We know and we have the technology to extract or automatically identify what's a section, what's a question. We can easily identify uh, that. Not only that, we can also put it back in the same for document. For example, if you got an Excel-based RFP, we can send it back to the same Excel document, or we can send it to your, your, your corporate template, which typically you submit to your, your uh, customer. So like I mentioned, I, I didn't want to go into the Salesforce integration demo, but this is some of the screenshot that I want to show. So if you're a salesperson uh, or a sales VP, you want to track what's going on, and you don't respond to RFPs when you have your proposal managers and product managers like myself respond to RFP, you are pretty much tracking inside Salesforce. This is Salesforce UI. We have built a custom tab inside Salesforce. You can actually track what's going on as a sales VP. You don't need to log into an application. Even, even the dashboard that I just showed you, it's right within the Salesforce platform. You're not coming into RFPIO at all. So you are looking at exactly what's going on in each of those RFP inside Salesforce. That's about it. Sure. What's your uh, Slack integration look like? So uh, I talked about collaboration. So if I want to ask some questions, so I can send a, send a question or have them answered through through my team. Uh, we create a channel within Slack. So when you when you type a comment in my application, it it pops up in Slack, and you can reply back. Sure. How do you monetize this? So we are a completely SaaS application. So we are uh, having three different packages. We are unlimited users, so starting with uh, five RFPs, you can start with five RFPs concurrently. So uh, we charge right now about $450 a month for unlimited users, 25 gigabytes of space for five RFPs. Next tier is $849, uh, which uh, allows you to manage 25 RFPs, unlimited users. We give Salesforce integration, uh, recommendation engine, we can integrate with Google Docs, Dropbox, Box.net. And the third one is the custom or enterprise. We we can give you a, a, a dedicated URL. It's it's very customized for you. Sure. Do you also integrate with SharePoint and everything you use cases using your products? Yes, uh, we did get uh, a, a few inquiries for audit and, and grant writing, other other use cases. But being a startup, we need to focus on where we can. So our currently our bandwidth allows us to focus on technology. But uh, we have clients from CPA industry. That's one question. To share point, that's just, uh, in our roadmap right now to integrate. Microsoft has a different way of doing things. So uh, we are ready for that. Sure. You mean development? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, that's been part of my life for the last uh, uh, 10, 12 years. So I never felt it's different. Uh, you know, uh, I usually call uh, um, you know a few miles apart, just 3,000 miles or 4,000 miles apart. So uh, we don't feel the difference. But obviously, it has challenges, especially um, you know uh, when when customers are asking for support and 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 generally the mentality. People think the quality issue, are, are we creating a right quality? But time and again, we have proven that the quality is, is can be achieved at the same level of what we, we can generate over here. So uh, we recently just went through a security audit. So we have done a pretty good job there. And there is no question asked. We've been very uh, successful. But again, every every business would have its own challenge. So starting from you know being a startup, right? resources is a challenge, fund is a challenge, you know, office space is a challenge. You know. Business card is a challenge for me, right? You know, a couple of weeks before until we hired, Angie was taking care of it, so everything else is happening. Sure. How did you go about converting things into an Excel spreadsheet? Was that a long and involved process, or does Microsoft make that easy? No, it's 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 uh, we uh, that is one of the proprietary technology we have built. Um, so we help you to extract text out of Microsoft uh, uh, Excel. We also help you to put it back. So it's our own technology that we have built it in. So we, uh, you know, if you wanted to have a demo, we can we can set up a demo. So uh, we are fair.com, we can contact us. I can show it to you. And we are also hiring. So if anybody is interested in for sales development, uh, so we are also hiring. So just 
go to careers.com or rpao.slash careers, fill up the forms out. We are more than happy to talk to you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.